Hey guys and welcome back to another video and I hope you are okay on that side of the screen and today here we are with this Sabrent and was, was selecting between these two this is this Sabrent USB 3.2 tool free and we can fit in a NVMe M.2 SSD inside with a maximum speed of 1 gigabit or 1000 megabytes per second on reads and on writes which is just awesome and on my hand i also have this sabrent rocket extreme that we saw a few weeks ago which is the fastest external ssd that we have used actually i've got this camera right over here you can just make a small comparison in terms of build quality this is the best that we can find in terms of build quality it's really premium really solid both units this one which is the rocket extreme that we have seen in the past and also the sabrent USB 3.0. So if you don't want to get a all-in-one solution, you want to get a USB tool free that you can use any NVMe M.2 SSD inside, then you can get this one. In terms of build quality, I can't tell which one is better because it's top-notch in terms of build quality, really, really solid materials. Now, in terms of the enclosure itself, it's really elegant. As you can see, and I'll show you probably better images that I'm showing, that I'm recording right now, but we have this handle right over here that we can just rotate and then we can just open it up and inside we will find is nothing else than the fastest SSD that it's available on the market right now. We saw it a few days ago. This is the Sabrent Rocket MVME 4.0. It reaches only and only 5,000 megabytes per second on reads and roughly 4,300 megabytes per second on writes. And you can check the review here on the channel. I'll try to leave a link somewhere right over here or right over there. It's just a awesome technology. Now, one thing that I would suggest is that if you are getting this enclosure, I would not get this M.2 SSD that it's inside because the enclosure is limited at USB 3.2 speeds. This is one gigabit and the SSD or the NVMe inside is 5 gigabits in terms of reads and 4.3 in terms of writes. So I would suggest to get a SSD that has the same limitation of 1 gigabit to fit in here so that we are not wasting the potential of the NVMe. Now there is one thing that is also really interesting besides the build quality, uh, the mechanism to hold the NVMe in place. We don't need any screwdriver. It doesn't use any screws. It has a really smart system, a magnetic holder right over here that we just need to put in next to the SSD and it will hold it in place. And we can use, of course, several sizes of M.2 SSDs. And you might ask, hey, Robert, okay, but there are a lot cheaper solutions for SSDs. And I've got one here on my hands, but we cannot even compare it. And it's all total okay and it's fine i'll put on this camera right over here as you can see and you can search for the brand you'll find it actually it's not screwed so i can take it out and if you are looking for a cheapo solution to read a slower ssd which at this moment i've got a transcend of 32 gigabytes so as you imagine i don't keep data on this card it's just for small tests on machines that i've got right over here but this is a great solution for that actually this is not an nvme this is a m.2 uh, asata uh, connection right over here and totally different technology but depending on what we are looking for we will find cheap solutions the only thing that i would like to mention right over here is that it's not comparable in terms of build quality in terms of speeds in terms of everything and we have seen other solutions and some of them they are very similar in terms of materials to the macbook pro but when we look at them when we touch it's different and right over here we have a few products from sabrent as you can see this just the cover of let's try to focus the cover right over here just the cover as you can see it has this thickness right over here which will act as a dissipator and it has actually here some paste that we we will uh, actually put in and it will go against the SSD and it will help to dissipate the heat but this is just one of the examples just the cover it's really tough it's really well made so it's really hard to compare with other cheaper solutions and even some solutions that are on the market almost reaching the same price and that is it in terms of conclusion what I can say is that on the tests that I did perform uh, it actually reached the maximum of the USB enclosure which was one gigabit we are talking about 
of 900 and something megabytes per second on reads and on writes and we will not achieve more although the ssd that's inside is a lot faster we will not get it uh, faster than this because this is a limitation of the technology used right over here and guys basically this is it if you are looking for a solution such as this one an external tool that you don't need anything else you just want to take advantage of the nvme that you already have and it's one gigabit you want to use it on the go and probably want to reach home and you want to take it off and put it on your machine that's a possibility why not then this is a total capable solution with a great build quality at an affordable price especially if we compare with the rocket extreme that is right over here which is an all-in-one solution more expensive than this one and of course it comes with the ssd already built in but with crazy speeds we are talking about 2500 megabytes per second on reads and on writes which is just awesome so two different solutions both of them with build quality which is incredible and that is it hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you did so don't forget that usual thumbs up which is really really appreciated right over here my name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you guys on the next one